Hi everyone, welcome back to Apple's and Tiara's. So today's video is going to be another property update sort of video. I'm gonna be showing you guys the official plans of our home build of our house. And then I will take you through my Sims 4 version of the house that I've built in the game to kind of show you guys the layout and like where everything's gonna be, where everything's gonna go um, the best I can. Just keep in mind that the scale of the plans versus the scale of The Sims do not match at all. So the house in The Sims probably looks a bit bigger than it's actually going to be, especially the downstairs. The upstairs, the scale is way off, but um, it is the very best that I could do. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, you guys, so this is the official floor plan of the house build. Right now we are looking at the um, bo bottom downstairs first story. Um, and as I've tried to describe to you guys in previous videos, the layout, um, all of the dimensions are here, but when I walk the property, it always seems so much smaller than it appears it's going to be. So, um, and then when I show you guys the Sims version of the layout in just a few minutes, um, the Sims version will be a little bit bigger scale than it will be in real life. Sim scale and real scale don't really match. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just showing you these so that I can give you guys the layout of the house and just kind of show you what everything's going to look like. So I'm actually going to show you the front elevation of the house, um, which looks like this. So we've got some batten board here. We've got some siding. Um, and the whole house is going to be painted white with either a super dark gray trim or a black trim. I'm thinking super dark gray. Um, and then of course you have all of the different elevations here, like the side, um, the garage side and the back. Um, none of that's really relevant. You guys will see it in a minute. But the downstairs is really cool. So you walk in the front door and you have the family room here. And as I mentioned before, we have a beautiful, uh, we're gonna have a space for a mantle or fireplace. Um, and it is a cutout so that we can um, build a mantle around it and have a set in or built in fireplace. Then you'll walk forward and the dining nook is here. Um, you'll kind of turn the corner to go up the stairs. We have the kitchen, which um, in my Sims game, the scale is pretty close. The amount of cabinets um, is pretty spot on. And then through here, we've got a pretty large pantry. Um, I believe this pantry is five, around almost five feet wide. No, it's like four feet wide by five. Oh, <laughs> it's like five feet long, four foot wide. So pretty average. Um, and then the mud room, of course, powder bath. And we also have a space for our extra fridge. And we also have a closet here. We're planning on putting a shelf here with a dog door under. And then of course, garage door access. So then you go up the stairs. Oh, this is a back door and this is a side door. Um, then you go upstairs. And you have the um, stairs, you'll come up this direction and you'll kind of land here. You have the loft, which is 14 by 11, so it's pretty big. And then you'll walk this way to a bedroom with a walk-in closet. The loft itself also has a walk-in closet in addition to a built-in desk space. So this is going to be kind of where like my office is. I'm not going to have an office anymore, but this will be kind of where our computers are. And then you have the guest bathroom, which is a basic tub shower combo. Um, there is a linen closet built in though, which is great, which you will not see on the Sims, but there's going to be an alternative there because the Sims is weird. You can't make it all accurate. It's just impossible. And then you'll keep walking. You have another bedroom, walk-in closet, coat, linen, laundry. This is another countertop area. So we're going to do a built-in countertop. And I'll be able to show you guys kind of my inspiration when I do my Pinterest video. So you guys can see kind of like what I'm going for, what my plans are. Um, and you'll see it in The Sims too. And then we've got another closet across from there. A double door entry into the owner's suite. It is a 15 by 13 and a half 
room. So it's pretty big. Um, and then it enters into the owner's bathroom, which is through a barn door. We've got a large um, shower tub combo, a toilet room, and then we have a custom, not a custom, we have a vanity that we've ordered from Wayfair and I'll actually show you guys those when I do my Pinterest design video. And then there's also a linen closet built into the restroom to the bathroom area. This is a closet. This is going to be Scott's closet through another barn door. And then my walk-in closet, which will be where we'll store like majority of like our winter clothes and like things that we not, we're not using all the time because Scott's closet will be just his. And then mine will kind of be like where we store all the extra things. Um, and so this is the whole upstairs of the house. So now I want to show you guys what it looks like in The Sims because I think it's a pretty good representation of what it's actually going to look like. So let me get some good lighting here. So um, I've tried to set up my lot to sort of look like the lot we bought, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So um, we've got our driveway, it comes in sideways here. Um, you've got your garage. This will be a dog run. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But this is pretty much what it will look like on the outside. Um, and kind of like a little bit of a, like what we're planning to do with our yard, what we'd like to do pending the space. I mean, obviously none of this is to scale, so I can get a little bit more creative. But I'm just going to take you guys through the layout of the house, um, kind of show you what it will sort of look like. Um, I don't have all of the like decor pieces in here by any means. But it is kind of cool to see the layout and like what I kind of plan to do. So when you walk through the front door, there will be a mud um, bench here, which is actually the mud bench that's behind me. Um, I'll probably paint it. And then we will also have a door leading to the under the stairs. I imagine the stairs are going to look a little bit longer than this. Like I said, in The Sims, it's not really accurate. Um, but there is going to be a door that leads to under the stairs. And then um, the fireplace mantle. Um, it, it, it's the best way I can depict it in The Sims is this way, um, but I will show you guys my um, my inspiration for that. And then, like I mentioned before, you kind of walk through here and you have your kitchen space. We'll have a back door um, and then a set of, of uh, French doors. Our plan is to put our um, hutch right here and sort of convert it into a bar hutch. Uh, because before it was kind of just a dust collector and we like the idea of maybe creating a bar hutch um, Not because we're like heavy drinkers or anything But just because when we have people over my husband loves to collect good whiskey bottles And so it's just gonna be kind of a fun place to do that and then our kitchen. This is pretty to scale um, Because the cabinet count is pretty much the same as the actual plan um, and I'll show you guys the official cabinet design once it comes in in a different video um, You kind of saw a little bit of what we were looking at in the last update um, when we were at the cabinet store But essentially this is what the kitchen will look like so dishwasher um, The stove side I really didn't want any cabinets. I wanted to do some open shelving for like plants or like special olive oils or just kind of a place to display things and you guys will see in my Pinterest video what I'm kind of going for um, and then this side of the kitchen would be more of like a coffee um, situation all of our cookware would go in the island um, and then in these two uh, cabinets and then as you go through I'm going to kind of change the view here just because it's easier to see um, we would have our large pantry. I would love to put some cabinets in the pantry, um, maybe just some cheapy ones or even like a table because I do want to keep our air fryer and microwave in there. In fact, we did wire for our smaller appliances to be plugged in in the pantry and to be able to be used in the pantry. So technically, this coffee pot could potentially end up in the pantry just to kind of keep things off of the counter. Um, and then we also have our refrigerator in our mudroom. Our mudroom, I'm guessing, is going to be a bit smaller than this. Like, I imagine it's going to be way smaller. Um, but what I plan to do in it is kind of similar to this layout. We'll have our extra fridge here. And then we'll have a linen closet. And then um, sort of like a mud bench kind of drop zone for stuff. And then our dog door. 
and our dog's food and bed because we imagine that when we're not home, we can close this door and the dogs will have access to the inside of the house as well as their own outdoor access where they will be fenced off and we can kind of contain them throughout the day. And then of course we have our teeny tiny little mud room or our, I guess, not a mud room, a powder bathroom, which I didn't decorate or anything, but um, it's just gonna be a simple like toilet and a sink. Um, and again, we did purchase um, vanities from Wayfair to put in there, so we have those. And then the garage will be nice and big, big enough to fit two cars and some more <laughs> stuff. Um, the cars shouldn't take up too much room. We have room for maybe an indoor gym or a workbench. Um, so then you'll go up the stairs this direction and you'll be upstairs now i didn't like i don't have a specific assignment for each room for the two kids um i just kind of decorated what i it was like my first instinct like oh i'll make this the baby's room and i'll make this cash's room um, but you come upstairs and you'll enter into the loft area the loft is going to be way bigger than this this is not to scale at all but it does give you a good picture of like how i'm planning on laying it out um, we would have like our desk area here with some built-in shelving uh, we do have the uh, plan to run wiring in here so that we can put like printers up on shelves and just kind of keep like the electronics away from the children's reach um, and then this way you go into a bedroom which will be a little bit bigger scale than this and a walk-in closet um, and so if this was the baby's room um, I'm kind of going for like a western rodeo wild west kind of deal <laughs> so I just decorated it best I could um, and then down the hallway into the guest bath. Like I said on The Sims, I can't really do a linen closet. So I just kind of left it alone. Um, like I said, it isn't to scale, but this room looks pretty close. Um, and then there's another bedroom here. So I just made this Cash's room for the game. Um, and again, another walk-in closet. Then we've got a closet here. This would technically be another closet per the, the plans. Um, and this is the laundry room, which I really like how it turned out in the game. Um, this kind of does look exactly like what I'm going for, washer, dryer. And then I really wanted to have like a built-in cabinet, like top up toppers, have like a nice piece of wood, like butcher block or something to create a countertop space and then keep all of my laundry baskets for the whole house in the laundry room. So as soon as you take your clothes off, at night we all pile it in the hallway and then at night i just sort it into the different laundry baskets um, so that throughout the week there's not laundry like piling up in bedrooms it's all just in the laundry room um, and then we would enter through these doors to get to the master again this is not to scale <laughs> there's a little baby in there um, but this is kind of the way i'm thinking our layout of our room will go the baby will probably be in his own room by the time we're moving in the house because it may take that long um, but if the baby is still an infant by the time uh, we move in then he would go there um, and then we would have a barn door here into the master bathroom where we'd have tub shower combo toilet um, sinks instead of a linen closet i just put a cabinet here and then my closet is not to scale either but i just kind of wanted to show like how i would set it up um i plan on doing i have a dresser that i'll be putting in there a mirror a chair um so it's just like kind of the best i can do as far as like the layout as it goes in the sims so that is the layout of the house um, and then our plans for like the yard and such we have, if you guys have been watching, you've seen like what our yard looks like. It's obviously not going to look like this, but the Sims is a square piece of land. Um, but we do plan on doing a small garden with a chicken coop sort of in this fashion. Um, I would like to have a playhouse uh, with swings. I actually have commandeered one from a friend of mine. We just haven't picked it up yet. We would love to do a patch of grass right off the porch and then have a fire pit somewhere and then of course cash would love to have a tree house and we do have a great tree that um, could potentially serve that purpose um, and then a teeny tiny little sitting um, area for dining um, right off of the back door just in case we want to eat outside um, and then the dog run of course so 
And if you've seen our property, you've seen that there's tons of rock and like a complete cliff <laughs> right off the back porch. So I did the best I could to kind of recreate what we're working with, um, you know, the hill in the front and all that stuff. So it is the best I could do, but it is kind of fun to just show you guys what the house is going to look like, the layout, the plans. Um, so I had a lot of fun picking it out. I actually found these plans that we're looking at here um, on a plan website. And then we sent them into the draftsman. We made some changes and adjustments, to create something that we absolutely love. So it's very exciting. So anyway, you guys, that was the layout of our house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.